shooting that sent a city worker to the hospital. Yeah, police say they've recovered dozens of guns from the accused shooter's home. 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo is in University Heights with the latest. Well, it's a long list of weapons, ammunition, and explosives, including an AR-15, all found inside of this home here on Mead Avenue. In total, 90 items were removed from this house. It's worth noting this house is just five blocks from an elementary school. Now, let me show you some pictures of those weapons. San Diego police found these during a gun violence restraining order. The list, 34 rifles, 21 handguns, a smoke grenade, and 75,000 rounds of live ammunition. The items were found after the owner of this house, 79-year-old Nathan Lee Brogan, shot a city worker on Labor Day. The public utilities employee had been called out to fix a water leak here on Mead Avenue. Police say the victim saw Brogan in the window and announced himself, saying he was going to check the water pressure. Then police say Brogan told the city employee, quote, I don't care who you are, and shot him at close range. The victim was hit in the chest and arm and is expected to recover. The San Diego City Attorney's Office is the first in the state to issue these types of restraining orders that take guns away from people who pose a serious danger to the community. The office started issuing these orders back in December. As for the suspect, he is facing a list of felonies, including attempted murder. He is being held on $1 million bail in Vista. Reporting in University Heights, Laura Acevedo, 10 News.